Dearest Bear Bear, As I stand here today to pledge my love for you, I remember how everything all started from a single comment on my juggling skill, which I thought seemed impractical at the time, could lead to a conversation starter and fast forward to now, I'm about to make a lifetime commitment with you. As I'm writing these vows, I can only imagine how beautiful you are right now in your wedding dress. And if I'm not caring right now, I will probably be soon. Being with you has been a blessing and I'm truly thankful, firstly, to God and your parents for the woman you have become today. Dear Eileen and Jeremy, congratulations on your wedding. Today you both become partners for life and we wish both of you a marriage life filled with abundance of God's blessing, love, health, wealth, prosperity and happiness. so happy to be standing here with you and making this commitment together. Though we have only known each other for about two years, it feels that we have known each other for much, much longer. I know it sounds cliche, but it is a testament to how much effort we have put in to build this love and relationship we have now. When you asked me what I first loved about you, I was silent as I did not have the words to describe how I felt. You being the kind person you are, never pestered me or got upset for an answer. Now Jim Jim, I know it took a while, but I have finally put my feelings into words for you. I promise to finally finish with you that 1000 piece puzzle that we sort of started but never got halfway. <laughs> I promise to always eat the spring onions and celery that you will lovely set aside in my bowl. I promise to be the many heads of the household in which husband takes precedent first, followed by as exterminator, comforter, protector, and lastly your best friend. I promise to be kind to your pet plants and will water them on mornings that they require care. Finally, I vow to choose you every day, to love you fiercely and to trust in God's perfect plan for our future together. With you, I feel a sense of peace and purpose and I'm excited to walk this journey of faith and love. Thank you. Learn to love each other more as you love Jesus more and more. And I wish you and I pray that both of you will continue to shine for Jesus as one. And help each other and never look at the weaknesses of each other, but help to strengthen each other as you face challenges. There are a lot of strength, there are a lot of weaknesses, but do not look for the weaknesses, but harness the strength of, in each other and complement each other so that you can grow in your love for each other. And Importantly is to allow Jesus Christ to be the center of your marriage and of your home in time to come in your family. 
always put Jesus first because He is the one that builds your marriage and to strengthen your love for each other. So I just want to bless you with the blessings of God that you will continue to love each other until the end of age.